down with me. That's a Māori and a huge welcome to AB legend Glenn Osborne and Māori oh. Black Joe Royal. Oh, 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 guys, I just, I just, I'm so <laughs> proud and privileged to be on this show, Ollie's show, all by himself. He said he's the man. I know. I'm just over the moon, Ollie. Thank I, you. I know so you're proud. You see, respect. Oh, respect, Kurt <laughs> Well, someone who was illiterate to now, <laughs> he's come a long way. It's incredible. Stop it, dude. Hey, the, thank you very much for coming down. Help yourself. We got some coda. Here, make yourself a feed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Get in there. Yeah. Hey, it's, uh, it's going to be awesome to talk about the Rugby World Cup with some fellas who have actually represented Aotearoa in the sport. That's the professionals. Guys, how do you think tomorrow's game is going to play out? Will you go first, please? Uh, you know, I think the All Blacks would take it out, eh? Smash them. I don't know. 13 plus. Easy. Yes. Well, for me, I definitely know because I'm a patriot. I love this country. I love the All Blacks. They will definitely win, people. There's no doubt about that. The score, for me, it doesn't matter. So long as we win. Uh, also, we, tell us what you guys think. Go to our Facebook page, give us your predictions, and you could be into win Hoyt's movie passes. Hi, Ra, and uh, brother Oz. Yes, Super Oz. Yeah. You represented the All Blacks at the 1995 and 99 Aye. World Cup. Ages ago. Bro, it's uh, it's less than 24 hours yes. to the grand final. What are our boys gonna be? doing right now, uh, I suppose you're going to be sleeping, but in the last 24 hours, you know, what goes through your mind before big games like that? Okay, what they do is they have to shut off. They have to absolutely shut off all what's going on around them. They'll be inside uh, their hotel rooms and they'll be just watching DVDs and movies. That's what we always do. And then they'll go out for a bit of a walk around. That'll take five minutes and all they're doing is uh, forwards will go through, line outs, backs will go through moves. But they'll just have their sand shoes on and they'll be just walking through everything. And then back to their room to mellow out to stay away from everyone. So and a bit of a sleep. They would probably sleep. Yeah. yeah. You used to go out, eh, though? I heard about you. <laughs> well, I did sneak out and have fishing chips at one time before our Rugby World Cup. Any standout players for you at the World Cup so far? Yeah, the bro Nehe. He's, uh, he's been playing pretty mean, eh? He's good, good fella. Flat mate. I'll drop that. <laughs> so, so you, you actually know him. He's a personal friend of yours, yeah. is he? <laughs> We, uh, oh, we flattered, people, we flattered for that. a while. He's got friends, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we flattered for a while, so I'm yeah. hoping he sends some gears over. That's how close oh, we are. Close, <laughs> man. Yeah. What about you, Oz? Standout player for you? Oh, no, he yep. definitely has been, out. <laughs> He's been outstanding the whole way through. I, I don't actually know him personally, but I do know his mum from home back in oh, Wanganui. Okay. So you see, I, I oh, have yeah. connections here too. But, oh, you know, you look at um, Dan Coles, been <coughs> outstanding. He's one of the uh, definite leaders there and mm. also our greatest rugby player of all time, Richie McCall, without a doubt. Uh, I love being around guys on the couch talking about this, it's fantastic. Anyway, tell me about the Wallabies. Who is, poses the biggest threat to the boys on the day? Um, oh, I'll start first. Uh, probably our Lucy's, um, the Lucy's for Australia, um, Pocock and a few of the other boys in there. They, their combination, their strength around the ball, um, they dominate the ruck area, getting there first. So we just got to counter attack it with um, Richie get in there, taking them out of the way, and just trying to utilise and bring our other number seven on, um, probably halfway through the second yeah. half. No, nah, mine would be the backs, eh? Um, Ashley Cooper and Kudrajani, who get, they're pretty dangerous, they've been pretty good ball in hand, so yeah. if we can yeah, stop them, stop the ball from getting out wide, they're pretty dangerous out there too. So. Who's going to shut down those backs, the opposite numbers? Or? Yeah, oh. Team effort? Nonu and... Yeah. When, when Sonny comes on, he's he's quite quite sharp as well. And there's, but, no, um, there's no individuals yeah, there's in no defence. Individuals. So everyone has to work at a pattern, and the structures yeah. are put in place for that. Yeah, but you should know, Wally, because you you like you told me you were the greatest rugby oh, player yeah. from Raglan. Yeah. <laughs> I did captain a few games for the Raglan seniors. So <laughs> what up, Rags? But, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Joe, uh, you're a hooker, playing in the front row. Want to talk about the young buck called uh, Cody Taylor? And uh, he's had a mean as year, first, first year international rugby. Yep. He hasn't had too many starts over at the World Cup or too much game time, but how do you think he's performed this year? Yeah, no, he's been pretty good. He's um, he's only young still, so he's 20 something. Still got time. He's I think he's just learning the trade off uh, Colsey and Koro Kivi, so mm -hmm. no, he'll be he'll be one to watch in the in the future. All right, well the tool strength. Sorry, Kirsten. There you go. Um, oh, he's he's a bit like Colsey. Yep. He's uh, fast. Uh, I think he's still got to work on his uh, bit of throwing, but other than that, yeah, he's the as, man. Are you as good as him? Can't be. No, I taught him. 
Oh, stop it. There it is again. Sorry, cuz. No, that's fine. Yeah. No, talking about Dane Coles, yeah? So I'm a layman, totally. So explain to me why people are saying that he has redefined the hooker position this year. What makes him so special? Oh, it's gone of the days of the old popo hookers, front rows. Um, he can pass, kick. Uh, he's pretty fast as well, so... No, nah, he's, he's changed changed the game for us front rows a lot, so... Yeah. I think he's... From being ugly fellas to, you know, good-looking <laughs> fellas, apart from a couple. You know, um, <laughs> but more than that, I think just the whole four pack have changed the dynamics of rugby these days. You have a look at all our, our all our four pack. Mm -hmm. They are all skillful. They can all pass. They can all run. They can all kick, and they can do anything what the bats can do. Just and don't they have can the same all speed. Do a mean haka. You, you're part of the haka training camp with the Maori ABs. Yeah. How important is it for our boys to do a mean proper haka before the game? Oh, it's just, I think gets everyone up. Eh? Gets um, just gets the blood going. Um, it was quite a bit of a buzz when we did it for the for the Maoris. Um, we were over in Japan and in the States and even Fiji this year. So well, I thought your performance in the haka was was pretty good actually. Because I, I, mean, I underestimated your ability as an all-round skilled rugby player, but I thought oh, no, you were pretty it's... good. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Pre-game rituals. Do you yes. have any? Yeah. Keep yeah, it clear. Yeah, it's well, ten o'clock. People yes, are eating. Yes, I know that, cuz. What do you do? Yeah. Are you still playing? <laughs> You still play, Nate? Yeah, I, I, I st still play. Um, Golden oldies. Golden oldies. There's nothing wrong with that. I wear the red shorts so I don't have to be tackled, <laughs> but it's all good. My ritual um, is basically I had to watch a movie first, and the good movies, you know, I watched the movie, and then I would just sleep and then get up and have a couple of eggs. That was it, mate. Cooked eggs or Rocky style, just raw? No, no, no. Um, uh, what do you call it? Over easy? Oh, easy. Easy. Yeah. But yeah, that was my ritual. Other yes. people are different. Uh, mine's just make sure I have a sleep, shower, and then, yeah. So get done. Yeah, it's riveting stuff, guys. <laughs> sleep, shower, turn up for the game. Oh, I just make sure my boots are clean, too. So. Nice. And clean the modern boots. day hooker these days, obviously, a load of hooks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.